not sure, but this is the final stage. It is Nintendo. This is a rotating GameCube. You can see all the warnings like that. And, oh shoot, and stuff like that. Um, it's it's a very detailed GameCube. Um, it's quite awesome. It's a scale model. Oh, I didn't time that right. Um, what you're supposed to do is get towards the edge, and as the GameCube rotates, you're supposed to pass yourself off to the next area, like just like that. Now it's going to rotate again, and pass yourself off too soon, way too soon there. It's all about the timing, all about the timing here. So this is the GameCube, this is Nintendo, and... Oh shoot, I shouldn't have fell in here, this is death in here. I didn't mean to fall in here, this is where the cords go, no! Yeah, don't go over there. Aim yourself for the handle instead. That was a mistake on my part. I should actually be watching the map instead of, oh shoot, the main screen, just so I can tell where I'm supposed to go. Like, I'm going to zoom in the map just like that, so you can tell what I'm doing here. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, it's like right here, you want to aim for this little bump next to the air vent. And this next one, you want to aim for the handle, like that. And, oh, two, wait, that worked pretty well, actually. Oh, no, 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 don't turn, turn, don't turn, don't turn yet. Oh, wait, I'm good, never mind. Now, this one, you have to aim for the controller ports, except don't fall directly inside a controller port, because that'll be doom right there. Um, that's all there is to the stage, is timing and practice, basically. It's, it's definitely a very unfair stage, because you have no idea how this is going to move for your first time around. So, yeah, I don't really approve of stage design like this, but it's just such a quirky stage because we're just, you know, we're rolling on top of the GameCube that it's got such charm that I still love it. Oh, shoot. No, 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 no. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, turn around. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Go, 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 go. Oh, too quickly. Oh, I was a little too impatient there. Um... I think this is going to be my last try of this part, and then I'm going to have to move it on over to the next part to finish the stage and the game. I'll probably do... Hey, I'm on top of the handle. <laughs> I never did that before. Oh, you can also land on those things, but that's completely useless. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. We are continuing on right where we left off on Nintendo. Let's see if we can finish the stage once and for all. Oh, this is looking okay. Whoa, camera, camera, camera. Uh, this is okay, this is okay. And, come on, pass over, pass over. Oh my goodness, oh, so close. Wait, get up here, get up here. This is it, this is it. Last part, yes! And now get over here by the open button. Wait for it, wait for it. It's gonna open up. Insert your disc and end this game! Woo! Why the heck is there a slowdown there? I have no idea. And... Yeah, that's the end of Super Monkey Ball 2. I am very happy to have finished it, you know, making good videos on this game. <laughs> go, go, I did it, yeah, yoo-hoo. And thank you. Can't stop laughing. Ha, ha, ho. Magical spell is e e I was inside your bowels before, Mr. Whale. I thank you very much for spurting me out. Oh, I'm so happy to be its best friend. I'm a game's best friend. Oh, I feel so great. Oh, and there's the moon. It's shining bright and happily, and... Uh, Oh, there goes the camera messing up again. Of course it's going to mess up there. Why wouldn't it? I mean, come on now. Oh, this is just the credits. I've showed these credits before, didn't I? Um, because the camera's messing up, I'll just, uh, well, yeah, I'll just skip through them. Uh, I think what I'm going to be doing soon is the, um, well, maybe I'll just do them today, is the mini games. I feel the game, the walkthrough isn't finished until I do the mini games. So let's get, just All get right, to that. Alright, let's start the party games. Here they are right here, and I'm pretty sure that um, certain ones of these, I forgot which ones they were, I don't remember, were unlocked. You have to buy them using play points. Once you buy all these, you can then pay for, or I should say, buy lives to use in the challenge mode. The challenge mode is the mode that I just played, in case you don't remember. So, uh, let's go through these one at a time. Let's do Monkey Race 2. Um, Grand Prix sounds good to me. And, uh, 
these, uh, I'll just go with I I for these races. I like that little monkey. And game start. Now you got it's it's kind of like Mario Kart, except um, it's monkey balls. So yeah, when you press and you press the A button to oh wait no wait, never mind they get I actually wait never mind I forgot how to get the boost on this. Uh, I completely forgot how to get the boost on it actually. There's some way to do it. But anyway, this is shaped like a banana, in case you don't realize on the map there. And see this question mark uh, box? When you, oh shoot, the op, you want to, whoa, don't do that. Don't hit the bumpers. Oh shoot, I'm just screwing up all over the place. And you want to try and get first place, obviously. And this is a speed boost item. That other item that I had was, it's like a magnet. It makes your opponent's ball really slow down. It, it cleans them to the track very much like, and no, oh, that guy just got ice cubed, and, um, so, I hope, I'm glad it wasn't iced tea or anything like that, 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 I guess that would be a lot messier than being a cube, but still, you know, uh, I, don't, I don't want my shirt stained or anything like that, here's a speed boost item, I should also note that when you get a speed boost item, for some reason you have a lot more control when going faster than you do when you're going slower, I don't know why. It doesn't make much sense, or at least I notice, or at least to me it feels like I can have more control. Like, that turn right there I wouldn't have had any trouble making. Oh shoot! When you get hit by a missile like that, just jiggle the control stick and press the buttons really quickly. And that was a banana peel I dropped there. Self-explanatory, it makes your opponent slip. Um, all these items are homing. Um, the ones that attack your opponents are homing. But you have to be within a certain range for them to work. Uh, so it's, it's not like you can shoot at your opponent from halfway across the map, unless you have that that missile like someone just hit me with there. I'm in second place. I'm doing, oh, I was going to say I'm doing pretty well. I just, just got blasted right off the track, but that's okay. And I got second place. That's okay with me. Uh, I'm not I'm not really going for anything here because, if I'm, I mean, sure, I'm going for first place, but you if you beat these races, you don't unlock anything. Seriously. It, it, this is just for the fun of it. This is the lovely heart ring. There's a lot of bumpers on this track, so... Ah, I have no idea how they do that boost, but I have to catch up with them. So, yeah, this is the lovely heart ring. As I said, it is a heart. It is not a banana. They evidently like using shapes as uh, their track designs, and this is where the bumpers come into play. Oh, shoot! And you want to try and go through them in a straight line if you possibly can. Um, I'm gonna try and hit yellow over there with the ice cube item. Uh, let's see if I can, or I can just hit blue there. There we go. And there goes the yellow. And if I hit someone with this item here, they'll lose a lot of control because their ball will be turned into some prism-like shape. It'll have like really bumpy triangular edges, just like that blue computer up ahead has. Oh shoot! How did I miss? I was right there. Come on. You've seen that? Oh, bumper. Bumper. Ugh. Let me. Thank you. <laughs> and let, let's see, go through here in a straight line and go through the good gate just like that off to the side. That's the smoothest way that I can think of passing through there. And I am way behind, and there's a whole load of, um, <clears throat> I mean, there's only two laps left to go. I've wasted a lot of time right now, I have to say. Or I should, should say I have wasted a lot of time, not right now, through the whole race. And I just caught up the first, holy poop! People have really slowed down by that, by that spot, I guess, because I did it so smoothly, I passed by them. I think I got really lucky there, but I'm not complaining. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, 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 no. I don't think so, man. Oh, he made it. Pooper scoopers! I got second again. Oh, well. Well, let's see the pointage. Oh, I should, I should note that the points are... Oh, I am in first, so that works for me. Uh, depending on which place you get, depends, I mean, determines how many points you get. Uh, I forgot the exact values. You can just look back at the, the first race to see the exact values. I forgot to make note of them. Uh, because, they'll, because you'll notice that uh, when you look back at that race, you'll see that certain people got like nine points, other people at seven, five, whatever, all the way up to one, and then zero. And that it, that's entirely determined by which place you have. And uh, I'm trying to take the most efficient way through this track, even if it means skipping through items, because this track doesn't seem to be very, like, item-based. Like, it, if you get hit by an item, it doesn't seem to be as effective on here as other tracks, because there's less of a chance you're going to fall off. 
So just focus on staying towards the inside of the track, which is always the fastest way to go in racing games. And that's all there is to it, really. Just hit the boosts wherever you see them if you can, and there you go. Um, what you want to do here on this one, I don't know if you want to like jump over those boosts way up ahead. Um, nah, maybe I'll just slow down to hit these boosts like that, because I think that'll give me more speed in the long run. I'm not sure, actually, to be honest. Uh, I'm not an expert speedrunner, uh, so to speak. No, 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 come back here, Pinky. No, 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 That missile, though, is a problem. Uh, if you're, if you're angled somewhere, you know that you're gonna fall off, but otherwise, oh, I guess I still have second. I guess everyone else fell off there, but the missile is always a problem, because you bounce in mid-air, it's very easy to fall off the track. I got second again? Oh, come on! What the heck did the first place time get then? How close was this one? Oh, uh, it's not gonna tell me the time? Come on, man. What a rip-off. Oh, this is a hard track. Cannonball Circuit. There's a lot of places that you can fall off, and if you can fall off them, you most likely will. So, take these turns carefully. There's these little tiny boosts on the ground like this. Um, they, they are quite a hiccup, excuse me. They're quite fun to use because they're, they like gradually boost your speed. If you continue pressing forward and hit them in succession, over here, careful, 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 yeah, okay. Yeah, that'll make you fly off to the abyss if you push forward the whole way there. You gotta pull back at a certain point, not too soon, otherwise you're just gonna kind of waste your speed boost there. And Oh, no, 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 freaking missiles! Ah, you, oh, come on, how are my miss? I mean, how are my attacks missing? But I'm getting bombarded by everything else, dang it. Oh, well, that's Mario Kart for you. I mean, Super Monkey Ball 2 racing. So, yeah, we are racing through a volcano. It has got tons of sparks going across all over the place. Or I should say they're embers. No, 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 I didn't pull back quick enough, dang it. Oh, well, I got pushed back right on the correct track. The computers are evidently doing horribly because I'm doing horribly and I'm still way ahead of them. Well, there's white guy on the map there catching up to me. Oh, my God, he's right there. So maybe they weren't that far behind me after all. Boink! Boink! Oh, I love the music here, I should add, too. The racing music, it's... I don't know, it's got a real epic feel, yet it's got... I don't know, it's intense, it's soothing, it's it's kind of weird, it's, but it's cool. I like it. Then again, I always say that about the music. I like game music, dang it! Don't judge me! And the race is almost over. There's only three laps to this. Depending on how long the track is, um, will determine how many laps are in the track, or at least that's what they program. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can have, like, custom races where you can choose how many laps you want to do. So, uh, by all means, have 99 laps or something, actually. I don't know how many you can choose. Ooh, this is a, this is a tricky one here, too. Um, if you... Like, there's a lot of 90 degree t turns on this one. You have to slow down before <laughs> before each turn, or you will do that. Uh, oh, come on, that was just mean. Um, there's bumpers on here, so just like move towards the sides. There's three bumpers in a lot of places, so being slightly off to the left or slightly off to the right is usually the best way to do this. Um, there's a bunch of bumpers here. Like, whenever you see three bu- oh, shoot. <laughs> A track that you normally see a lot of three bumpers on, like three bumper formations. You just want to go between uh, two of them. You don't want to, like, weave when you get towards them. You just want to make a, a straight line as possible. That way you won't lose speed. That's what I'm trying to say here. Except I'm, trying, except I'm having a hard time expressing that for some reason. I don't know why, but I'm going to fall off because that missile uh, hit me right when I was angled towards the gap. But that's okay. Oh, no, 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 I don't think so. Oh, shoot, I shouldn't have made myself big there. Um, when you when you make yourself big using that item there, um, you can easily bump other players out of the way. But because they're so massive, it's hard to get through tight gaps. Granted, you can get through any kind of gap the game throws at you. It's just designed that way, but it's just a lot harder to do so. So choose when you use that item wisely. Ah! Banana peel! No! Wow, that 
that banana peel didn't have eyes, though, like Mario Kart, so at least it's not a banana peel that openly mocks you with its eyeballs. Ah, I got blasted by a bomb there. And how the heck am I in second place despite... Oh, there we go, third place. I was going to say, how am I in second place despite getting blasted off the track so many times? That's kind of a deserving place there for all the times like I hit and fell off on my own. <clears throat> but since I have, I've been playing so consistently... I have more points than the rest of the um, players.